What is up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing two things in this video. I'm going to be going over the brand new June 2019 ban list for the Chaos Galaxy trading card game and I'm going to be getting into my 2019 designer card contest. First off we're going to do the ban list and second off I'm going to tell you how to enter your design, my designer card contest and give you guys the chance to have your own designs, your own artworks in the Chaos Galaxy trading card game like these eight previous winners here. Also quickly before I get into this video I just want to say if you want to support the channel by getting your hands on some Chaos Galaxy trading card packs there'll be a link to the online store in the description below and I'll start by quickly showing you, I'll follow me on Instagram at Chaos Galaxy TCG if you don't already um, and I'll quickly show you the current ban list. So this ban list was ages ago, it was made in February 2018. Nothing in the game is currently banned. There were four cards that were half banned meaning meaning you're only allowed one of them in a galaxy and those four cards were Mystical Beast of the Deep, Galaxy Crash, Phantom Matter and Beast of the Black Hole. So a few things have changed from there so I'll go and show you the new ban list which becomes active towards the end of June uh, 2019. Okay so here is the new Chaos Galaxy ban list active from the 26th of June, sorry to you guys in the US I've on the date the English way around. Yeah, 26th of June 2019. So it's just a few days to prepare your galaxies um, if you're going to be having some battles soon. Um, so banned, nothing's banned. I'm still not a big fan of having banned cards and it's not fun if you get a really rare card in a pack and you just can't use it in a game. I'm not a fan of that in any trading card game. So nothing is banned. Half banned, meaning you can only use one of these cards in a competitive galaxy. There are six cards. Um, also, it says competitive galaxy because if you guys are just playing at home and you wanna and you wanna test out random things, then go ahead, go crazy, use any cards you want. Um, however, in a competitive game, so I know a few tournaments are being set up online. I'm gonna try and start up a few in London, um, hopefully soon. Um, so in competitive games, these are the cards that you are now only allowed to use one of in a galaxy. So the first card. The big daddy of the galaxy himself, Omnius the Planet Abomination. He's brand new on the list. Uh, you're only allowed one of him. And the reason behind this is because he's a fantastic card. Um, and with set three coming out very soon, hopefully at the end of July, I want to promote people using planets um, and strategies and like their own boss monsters from their own planets rather than just this strong no planet card who is fantastic. But I'm limiting him to one so that you can go and use your own strategies. And there's a bit of Kind of a range of boss monsters being used in the game. So Omnius is down to one, which I think is okay. Galaxy Crash has stayed at one. Um, oh yeah, I've done this little code here, so anything with this green highlight around it is new on the list. Galaxy Crash remains at one. One of the strongest cards in the game. Definitely the most reliable killing card in the game. Um, don't really need to explain much about that. It's limited to one. The next card we have, Blaze Elixir. Um, this has kind of been a problem card since I created it. I've changed its ability since I first made it when set one was released way back. Uh, and the reason why this has been limited to one is because of the planet Barrow. You can attach it to a creature with an original power of 300 or less, which was the limitation on the card and why it was fair. However, with Barrow's ability to be able to switch the power and health of your Barrow creatures, you attach it to a creature that has less than 300 power, like a Death, for example, and then you just go and use Barrow's ability and switch the creature's power and health so it has more than 300 power and then it can attack twice per turn, which is just crazy. So Blaze Elixir, down to one, because mainly of the card Death, to be honest, um, but just Barrow's planet strategy in general makes it too powerful. Um, so that's why it's down to one. Uh, the next card's Phantom Matter. Uh, the next card, I'll do Eternity Amulet in a sec. Um, Phantom Matter has been at one and is staying at one. Fantastic card, not not completely overpowered. I can even maybe, after set three comes out, I can maybe see it going up to two with so many new creatures being released, like whole planet strategies will begin to start working really, really well. And if you're bringing back a creature of your opponents that use, that is used for your opponent's strategy, I can see it becoming less and less powerful as more cards for certain planets and archetypes come out. So Phantom Matter is still at one for now. Now Beast of the Black Hole was a strange one. I very, very nearly banned Beast of the Black Hole. Um, the reason why it's so powerful and I think of banning that over Galaxy Crash is because with Beast of the Black Hole, firstly you only kill your opponent's cars, whereas Galaxy Crash you have to time it right or it kills your creatures as well. 
But the reason why Beast of the Black Hole is so good is because when your opponent attacks, because after your opponent attacks, their turn ends in a game of Chaos Galaxy. So Beast of the Black Hole says when your opponent would attack, you kill all the creatures in their battle zones, and then their turn ends, meaning that you've got a whole turn to kind of play cards, do all sorts of shenanigans, and then attack your opponent whilst they've got nothing on their planet. However, I decided to keep it a one because there's still only one Galaxy Crash. There aren't really any kind of big killing cards in set three um, that can just wipe out entire fields because we've already got two really good ones in the game. I don't feel the need for a third. Um, and there are a few cards in set three that will counter cards like Beast of the Black Hole and Galaxy Crash, making them potentially less powerful if you choose to use those cards. Um, also, we have Eternity Amulet here. Uh, this is a very powerful card. When the attached creature attacks and kills an opponent's creature, it gains that creature's power and health. And this card, I think its ability is just too good. You can play it with like a four-star creature that you can easily play in one turn that can kill another four-star creature and instantly have the power of like an eight-star card um, for pretty much nothing, really. I think a lot of competitive players use two copies of Eternity Amulet, so you're going to have to use one from now on, unfortunately. And um, think of something else to use. So... That's the ban list. Oh, also, there's this here at the bottom. It says here, um, as well as the half banned cards, additionally, only one Chaos Beast card can be used in a competitive galaxy. So this is just a kind of pre reminiscent for set three coming out. Chaos Beasts are three very powerful creatures that are coming out. Um, I've changed something on their artworks, which goes with this. So now every Chaos Beast in the game, uh, I'll just get Stallius up here, for example, um, instead of a normal creature, so if you look at Omnius here, you can see the number 10 in the bottom corner of his artwork. This means he has 10 stars. Um, the Chaos Beasts now say Chaos Beast here at the bottom of their cards. They're still 9 stars, they still cost 9 stars to play. However, because they say Chaos Beast, you're only allowed one of these in a galaxy. Um, so you've got Stallius here, Terracon here, he now says Chaos Beast and Cerberam too. So all these guys, you're only allowed one of these three cards in a galaxy. And that's not like you're allowed one Cerberam, one Terracon, and one Stallius. You're just allowed one Cerberam, or a Terracon, or a Stallius. Um, so I think that's fair for the game. Also, I think this is kind of nice because a lot of galaxies will now use a Chaos Beast instead of the second copy of Omnius because he's now limited to one. So it's kind of almost a substitute. A lot of decks will be swapping one Omnius uh, for a Chaos Beast, which is just quite a nice swap, I think. Also, one last thing I forgot about the ban list is Mystical Beast of the Deep here. He was half banned, so you used to be only allowed to use one copy of him in a galaxy. He's now gone completely, so you're allowed two copies of Mystical Beast of the Deep, um, which is very good for Polissian players because he's a fantastic card. Uh, he's just not super powerful enough to end up on the ban list again. Um, so yeah, that's the ban list. Uh, let me know what you think in the description down below. Let me know if you think I did anything wrong. Uh, let me know if there was a card that you think should be banned. Um, let me know if you think a card should be half banned that wasn't. Um, but for now, this is the Chaos Galaxy ban list, active from June 26th, 2019. And I'll get onto this competition. So the Chaos Galaxy Designer Card 2019 contest. I've done four of these contests before, so this is the fifth one. And pretty much same rules apply as always. I'm looking for two contest entries where you design a card, um, design the artwork, design the name, the ability. You can do as much as you want. You can just send me an artwork if you want. I won't accept just a name and like an ability and some stats and stuff without a drawing because that's what I'm, I'm mainly looking for, like creative trading cards, which is kind of what the channel's about. So to enter the contest, you must, like I said, be creative, send me a design for a card. You can send me multiple designs if you want. Um, it can be creatures, it can be resources, um, anything, anything goes. Send me anything. I'm not looking for anything in particular. One thing I will say though, I would like a creature that isn't a Roker creature or a no planet creature. That's where I'm drawing the line. So literally send me anything. Um, the way you enter, you'll need to be subscribed to the Chaos Galaxy trading card game. And that's pretty much it. Send your artworks, email them to me at chaosgalaxytcg at gmail.com. Um, try and try and photograph your artworks or scan your artworks as clearly as possible. Way less likely to win if you send me like some weird, some weird picture with like really bad glare on it where I can hardly see the drawing that you've done or if you've done it in like a really dark corner of a room. So kind of do everything that you can to win. And what I'm looking for is just creativity. 
Um, these are the eight previous winners. Think about things like the lore of the game and how your cards could tie into that. Think about kind of the style of the artwork that I do and what kind of creatures I'd be looking for. I'll make a video with the honourable mentions. I get so many entries to these now, I wish I could give everyone shout outs who entered, but I'd end up having to kind of go through 200 different artworks, which would take forever. So um, I do appreciate and look at every entry possible. Um, I try and reply to every entry I get. I know once or twice I have missed emails, which I apologise for, but I do really appreciate all the hard work you put in. And hopefully, you never know, you could be able to win. And uh, also, if you do win, I will send you a pack of Chaos Galaxy cards and your win, and including and give you your card design as well, which you can frame or hopefully use in a battle. Um, so yeah, there's the Chaos Galaxy contest. Take inspiration from these eight cards here. Take inspiration from the game, um, from all the existing cards in the game already, and uh, you should be good to go. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the ban list again. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at ChaosGalaxyTCG. Subscribe to the channel and send your entries for the designer card Chaos Galaxy contest to ChaosGalaxyTCG at gmail.com. Get your hands on some Chaos Galaxy packs if you haven't already. There'll be a link to the online store in the description below. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.